we just need it we just need a killer app where someone can be like wow that like i can you know i did an interview with the elite coin ceo and he talked about how their company is trying to integrate bitcoin rewards into video games or people compete for bitcoin in games like team fortress 2 and uh, league of legends and like that could that could be a killer app if it's implemented right people will be like wow i can i can comp compete for real money in real time you know within a game right um i don't know if that would spread consumer adoption a lot if, if a lot of people would be like well let me be buy cool, bitcoin so i can so i can like risk it in this video game but yeah it would be definitely cool and like we need we need more apps like that stuff that you can't you just simply can't do it with uh with regular freaking debit cards or cash or anything like that yeah like even even make like maybe not even revolutionary things just things that make would make bitcoin more fun you know think like the video game integration uh you know the that wouldn't solve any monumental problems, and it, you know it wouldn't send the value through the roof. But the, playing video game, competing in video games for bitcoins, like even if it was like you know fifty cents worth, yeah, that'd be fun. Um, yeah, yeah, we could that like, I guess we could see a lot of cool little things like that come out of these APIs, just because it's it would make it a lot easier to you know develop things like that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of seals with clubs. Uh, you what know, is that? I, I've heard you talk about it before, but you know, you've never like really explained it. So it's basically poker. It's poker okay. online, and you can bet Bitcoin in it. And you know, there's different tiers of levels depending on how much you want to bet in a in a game. You know, you can you can one one chip on seals with clubs is the equivalent of um, one millibitcoin, which is what forty cents right now. So each chip is forty cents. And then, like from there, you can you can, if you want to, you can just enter a game with, um, like what I usually do is I enter games where the buy-in is like ten to twenty uh, chips. So I go in with basically four to eight dollars, and um, like, do you do you know how to play poker? Do you know like the rules and stuff? No, um, I've never played it before. Yeah, I mean, basically, like you just go around in a circle, and everyone basically bets based on how much they think their hand is worth if they think they have a pretty badass hand like you know two aces double aces they're like oh, i'll probably win this so then they'll they'll bid up the price a little bit and they'll bid it up you don't have to bid like a whole chip at once maybe just like a a hundredth of a chip you know um in in one round and then as the round goes on and you see more cards in the middle of the table then people will start you know can can bid even higher to try and either get other people out and to, to fold their hands so you have a better chance of winning or if you honestly believe that you can win then you're just basically baiting them into risking more of their money into something that you're pretty confident you're going to win so it's a, it's a lot of psychology involved and honestly like i've i've went and played poker for money at friends friends houses before and uh and i usually lose because you need a good poker face, uh, and I don't, I don't have a good poker you, face. You get too excited. I get too excited when I'm about <laughs> to win, <laughs> and like if I if I try and force myself to have a plain like neutral face, then y you know that kind of interferes with my thinking and and, and judgment about how my actual hand is going to be played. So it's, it's kind of difficult to have a poker face. But you know, online <laughs> playing online, you don't your face is not shown, you yeah. know. So you can you can bluff pretty easily, um, and make people think that you have a better hand than you do. And uh, and if you can do that successfully, then you can win at poker. And that's what's that's pretty what's pretty awesome about seals with clubs. You can basically gamble, and um, and <laughs> with poker at least, you don't have to take the risk of other opponents looking at you and studying your body language to see if you're lying or not so that's i think that's a pretty cool application of bitcoin and, and i love seals with clubs we just need to see more stuff like that you know and Leap yeah Coin is make it to more do that. you know make it more fun maybe a little easier to use yeah yeah but you know some people are going to look down on that and be like oh bitcoin enables gambling and you know all all this shady stuff well people like to do that it's fun yeah, for people to risk you your want money with your money bit. you know yeah. it's your own fault if you lose it 
Yeah. If you want, if you want to risk it, then you can risk it. Like there's a there's a million ways in society that are you know state sanctioned and society sanctioned where you can risk your money legally. Uh, you can invest in stocks all day long and lose your money there if you want to. That's an, that's in a way gambling. Yeah, I think it's funny how uh, you know most state governments are really strict about gambling. Um, but then they turn around and have the education lotteries, which is, you know, oh, hundreds, yeah. of, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gambling. Oh, yeah. Those freaking sc scratcher oh, cards that are God. underneath the, the glass it's, at every goddamn liquor it's, store. It's such a ridiculous double standard. I mean, <laughs> get over it, guys. Like, people like to gamble their money. It's going to happen. Like, they're not hurting you by throwing their money away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then, of course, you know, gambling in almost every form is legal in Las Vegas and Nevada. And, you know, the people who own those large casinos um, just occasionally try and launch a, a tax against online gambling by, you know, trying to get favorable yep. laws passed that outlaw online gambling and, and things like that. It's like, whatever happened to just believing in freedom? <laughs> people can do whatever they, yep. whatever they want with but their money. But, you know, money. That, rem that reminds me... Um... That reminds me, I saw a video a while back. It was kind of like some kind of like news video, or whatever, on YouTube. And um, they're actually in Vegas and uh, they're interviewing the owner of this casino that accepts Bitcoin. Uh, like, I don't remember exactly uh, what you can do with it. Like, you can maybe you can like buy chips with Bitcoin or something. Uh, but basically, you can go to this casino and, you know, gamble with your Bitcoin. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. That is nice. I mean, we got to see more like that. That's all I'm saying. I want to see more and more, more ways to gamble my Bitcoins away. They're losing <laughs> value anyway. Why not take risks with them and have fun while the, while the price falls? They're going to be at zero next year anyway. Might as well have fun with them. 